Hi everyone, I'm Michelle from vegan.com and I have here with me today a special guest, Jimmy Corwell. He is a certified master chef and is launching a new and really exciting product that is going to revolutionize vegan sushi and it's called tomato sushi. So what is this cool product? Well, well tomato sushi is, is the alternative to bluefin tuna. It is all vegan, it looks like tuna, and when you roll it into a roll or put it on rice, like for nigiri, it tastes like a piece of sushi without the guilt. Um, yeah. So. so what inspired you to create tomato sushi? Well, I was in Japan. I was teaching in Japan, and we went to the world's largest fish market. It's called Tsukiji Fish Market. And every day, two warehouses, each the size of a football field, fill up the tuna from all over the world, and it's auctioned off. And so it's really quite a momentous thing to see, but the next biggest question is like, how can the oceans possibly keep up with us, especially when this type of auction and the demand for tuna uh, goes on all over the world and it's huge. Yeah. And you guys have had a great response so far. What's the response been like? The response has been amazing. It's shocking to me um, because everywhere we go, uh, people love it. They're like, thank you for giving us something other than a cucumber and uh, avocado roll and thank you for making something that tastes like sushi right. and it doesn't have pine nuts or raisins in it or anything like that. Yeah, how uh, do you make it? We have to peel the tomatoes and seed them and then they're marinated and cooked and compressed and so it's pretty much a boutique process but yeah we just cook it in such a way that it just brings out the natural savoriness of the mm -hmm. item and that's what makes it taste like sushi. Right. So we're looking to get into sushi restaurants, get it into real chef's hands, because I believe that they'll be able to do amazing things with this product, and it will be all vegetable and not fish. I believe in it, and uh, a lot of other people here in San Francisco believe in it as well. I'm just trying to grow outside the Bay Area. Right. But yeah, we've got some exciting products out there that hopefully help change the way people think about food. Yep, that's amazing. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys can find out more about tomato sushi at tomatosushi.com. Yep. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hello, this is Yuki from Yuki's Kitchen. In this video, I will show you how to make marinade mackerel sushi, and uh, shimesaba bozushi. To start off, uh, first, we need to cure the mackerel. There is a plenty of sea salt. I'm gonna put a lot of salt Then, skin side as well. Then, keep in the fridge for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, keep in the fridge. Now, you need to wash and get rid of the old salt. After clean the macro with the water, you need to pat it dry. Then move to nice flat shallow pan. Then you need to do second curing with rice vinegar. So you put plenty of rice vinegar into the plate. Keep in the fridge another 45 minutes. So now you have to cut them dry with paper towel gently, nicely. Next step, place the fish then debone and skin the fish. So hold 
the fillet gently, then use a tweezer to gently take out the old bones from the corner. Try to find a very small skin, then quickly peel. Now ready to make shape the sushi. So first, you need cling film. Then place the marinate macro center of the sushi mat. Then dump your finger with water. Maybe small two handful of sushi rice on top of the fish. Now ready to make a shape. So hold the rice here then roll up then pinch in the mat gently Then do it again. Beautiful shape. So that 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 end nicely. There you go. Next step: slicing the mackerel. So trim the edge. So I'm gonna slice with clean film. It's much easier to slice. So trim the edge. First, then cut into the half to so make sure your knife is very clean and sharp. And just carry on all the same. That's how you make shimesaba bozushi.